Wait. The only thing left for us to do is to go into the end of place we can get the game. Ball. Uh, we need to get to 100 rings in order to use the super spin mode. I'd like to at least see it once before we get to the end of the game. I mean, there, there's a little bit of a pinball type of game there that I'd like to play. I think that might be a way for us to get the necessary coins. Right, we need to shoot ourselves into those. Oh, oh for fuck's sake. Play that until we get down the cranks. Oh, holy shit. Why did this happen? I only have 50 rings. So, hard to control. Also, it's burning through my rings, which is not nice. Haste that's supposed to me. After how this works. Yeah, I need to collect more rings to keep this going, but I think I'm pretty much invulnerable while this is happening. So if I can maintain a steady supply of rings, it's pretty much impossible for me to fail it. Which is probably why it's very tough to get all the chaos emeralds. In sort of defeats the point of that. Takes the thread out of it. Hard to lose as much. Yeah, I'm more or less a bongo. Super Sonic. Invulnerable Super Sonic. It's just wasting my time. Right, I, I don't think this is uh, necessarily a positive thing. Precisely because... Instant death might be your only threat at this point. And I'm not sure if it's really fun for the game. I also don't... Uh, I think I got the transformation at 50 rings. Now I'm thinking, should we just try to fast forward to the end, or should we try to avoid getting that? I I'm not sure why I would intentionally avoid getting it, but I'm not a huge fan of it. At the same time, if you... I mean, ignoring the save states, getting to that point would take a lot of learning. A lot of learning. It is very tight how many rings you have to get. So it's also a lot of trouble to actually get to this point, so once you get it, uh, it's probably better to let the player to have a little bit of a power fantasy there. Something for all that trouble.
No. I wonder what are the things you can win. With the Sonic, you win the rings. With Robotnik, you lose all your rings. What is a jackpot, for example, in this? It's an extra life. Uh, 30 rings. Probably just more rings. I don't really see what else it could be. One hundred and eighty rings. We I suppose we instant death still applies to us, but yeah. Fighting doesn't really apply to us. Oh, okay. And I'm just going back and back and back. Ugh, I don't actually want to play this. No! One hundred seventy seconds of immortality. Yeah, this is uh, it's in somewhat entertaining, but there's not much point to a game if you can do this. At the same time, 50 rings is so minor of an amount that this is pretty much impossible to avoid in most stages. Once you get there, you can easily get enough rings to keep it going. Oh, yeah, this isn't gonna be much for you, is it? I have enough inertia to jump on it and I can't take damage, so yeah. So the later the game you get access to the Chaos Emeralds, I think it's better for the health of the game. So. Well, on the positive side, we can probably wrap the entire game up this time. Uh, maybe not here, though. Instant death everywhere, so even if I would be protected from harm, I would still die here. And uh, the huge amount of movement you have in the Super Sonic mode means that uh, it's actually harder for you to control things. But at the same time, it's not like the speed bonus with the red shoes. It's it's much more controllable. It, it much more controllable than even normal Sonic. So it just has a huge amount of speed. But it's not nearly nearly as dangerous for your health.
Well, Super Saiyan mode activated, I guess. Okay, it, it is pretty much impossible to die. Okay. There we go. That's how you die. Was too fast. I didn't see any big danger even if we basically ignore the supersonic mode. Mainly it's uh, things you would need to avoid with the supersonic too. Get out of this place. Let's jump. And super save mode. Right? Some kind of earthquake happening here. That's what pretty much kill us. We jump there too quickly. I don't know. Uh, the Super Saiyan mode just takes the game out of the game, and I don't have an effective way of avoiding it either. At the same time, it's nice to be able to cruise around at full speed without worrying about too much, but I uh, could have just used some kind of a cheat to make myself invulnerable if I wanted to do that. So. I have an experience about it, to say the least. Well, two rings and a shield is actually a fairly good pick. Another earthquake section, maybe? Mm. 
Iya. We better just loot. Yeah, because I lost all my rings, so it's not a good place. Ah, uh, good enough. Boss fight, maybe? No. Uh, the boss fight here would have to... Well, it probably has to do with the... Seesaw bomb and thing the jigs. Complaints. So rings, no complaints. Yeah, this is not gonna be a long fight. But five hits for on the first. Ah, I don't think this would have been any more complex even without this. Still, the boss fights are being pretty. Mystic Cave Zone. I have no idea how long the game is. It seems like now at this point it is already longer than the first game. It got very industrial looking at the, at the end of it. I'm guessing the similar thing will happen here. We started from the green or emerald zone or whatever, and then things have become more. Well, they haven't become more industrial this time, so I'm betting they will. Block my path. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. This is a new one for me. Ah. Ah, clear enough. Use switches. Uh, the crushing wall might still be enough to kill us, so we'll have to be somewhat careful for you. We're not invulnerable. Close to it, but not really invulnerable. like something with jump on. Ah, <sighs> beginning close to an end. Right. About two and a half. Uh, um, no, not two and a half. Uh, about three minutes per level with the 
Super Saiyan mode. Probably faster, we would know a little bit better what we're doing. Yeah, this isn't, this isn't gonna take long. It's pretty much taking it easy until we get to the Super Sonic mode, then just going for the right. About a minute later, the mission ends. Now, I don't think that's gonna change anytime soon. that much of a reach. Gonna be super sad mode on this mission, I guess. <sighs> Still, maybe we'll have some trouble with the boss fight thanks to that. So we're getting awfully close to the necessary 50 wings again. No, no, we're not. Yeah. Hmm. I, I feel like there should be a better way to handle this. I mean, I appreciate the Powered up mode. The whole ocean. Definitely getting closer to the end, I think. There has to be a better way to do it than this, where you're either playing normally and after a little bit playing everything just. All challenge, difficulty, and need for any kind of skill just disappears totally. There has to be some kind of a sweet spot there. Maybe new abilities, you could do m new maneuvers with uh, Sonic or something like that. Like with uh, Super Mario Bros has different kind of modes you can use. Tanuki suit or something like that. Uh, I feel that would be overall a better solution. It would also make it uh, a little bit easier to acquire.
Okay, this pretty much guarantees Super Sonic mode, but, uh... What about... Yeah, this is gonna be... This is gonna end quickly. I can even go against the flow with the oil skills here. That's usually not possible. Hmm, it matters too much. Yeah, I'm not sure if it matters at all. I'm moving in the wrong direction. matter where we are going with this. We are running out of rings though, so wherever we are going we should be getting there quickly, otherwise we're going to be in trouble. Mission ends or the stage ends. No, an act. Act ends when you get to the Super Sonic. I'm not sure if there's a sort of a good old sweet spot how you could handle this. Because you'd have to know beforehand more or less how many opportunities you get for the Chaos Emeralds. And there, especially the last stage is maybe a couple of the last stages are not that easy. So unless you have a way to cheat through it, you can't even count on that. You have to try your best every time. These are here. Oh no, 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 those are spikes. One play only. Death spikes, maybe. I'm not sure how this uh, level or zone be all that difficult either, even without the super snake mode. It, it has annoying things here and there, but they're not usually all that lethal, I guess. It's not one. They'll set you back a little bit, that's it. Extra life. need enough rings to bypass the boss fight. Okay. Ooh la la. I'll probably do it.
don't like these. They take so much time away from your super sonic mode. Not sure if there's any real benefit to them either. Now a shield. That's useful. Yeah, this is probably the boss one. And it's probably gonna end here. Shoots a tail at you with your dodge. And a laser tail comes. With your dodge. Then becomes vulnerable and yeah. I don't see again a difference really here with the supersonic mode and normal mode. Actually, the supersonic mode could be more troublesome because I'm gonna lose my rings. So it's instant death after this. I need to be able to aim at this now. Hmm, I doubt the oil sea there is dangerous to us. It'll just. Well, it could be. I doubt it. It's pretty much impossible to attack the submarine the Robotnik is using without also falling into the oil for a second at least. Metropolis zone. Yep, this is probably the last zone, I would guess. Assume things work at all like they did. Starfish that shoots missiles. Of course. And huge ass and crab. Instant death cylinders. Ooh, yeah, this could be trouble. Uh, the big thing about the starfish the enemies is that I don't actually spot them all that well. So I more or less spot them by the time they're shooting all at me already, so it's hard to dodge them. Uh, I don't think they're particularly tough otherwise. Sneak mode would really help here. But allow us to ignore the little robot enemies, I suppose. But there's still a lot of instant death crap. Wasting my rings pretty early. So, I suppose this would be another reason why I would like there to be a more active choice in do you want to use this mode. Because now if I run out of rings, I'm truly screwed at that point. Where exactly are you supposed to go? Okay, if I don't get rings soon, I'm pretty much lost. Yeah, 
Yeah, this can be good. Ah, good enough. Going down a good thing or a bad thing? Usually it has been a bad thing. The shield, that pretty much guarantees the suppressing it. But I'm not sure if there's a bunch of points to this. We need to get to the boss fight, not to waste our time getting a little bit of extra here and there. Getting to the boss fight without the rings, that's also a pretty big problem for us. That's the biggest problem for us. Uh, if we could trigger this late, you know, that could pr probably be a reason why you don't want manual triggering of this, because you could just wait for the crucial situation and then do it. At the same time, I'm sure that would be uh, actually bad anyway. At least we're maintaining the status quo more or less, but we are still continually getting, losing more and more things. Every win counts. Shield. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to take the shield, we're gonna lose the ring soon, so... Three, two, one, and shield it is. Please give me a ring, any ring. a way to get there. Five rings and the shield isn't actually too bad for a boss fight. And it's not even a boss fight. Wasn't this yeah this was act two, so usually there's boss fight here, so it's their boss fight stage. No? Another metropolis zone. So I suppose this could be a fairly special thing. Hmm. I'm not sure if we should 
try to aim for the supersonic mode, but at the same time, I, I don't see how we could basically make uh, any kind of a choice. We'll have to take all the rings we get and hope that they'll be enough to do whatever we need to do. that I managed to hit, got hit by all those. Still, at least, it means supersonic mode is not gonna happen. And waypoint 2, with 10 lives, so that's pretty much hard to screw up. This is not a good mode for uh, acting and precision jumping. <sighs> well, at least we're going to get to the boss fight alive with zero rings. Ten seconds remain. Oh shit, there's a uh, mantis there. Okay, I could use a uh, ring bot now. Ooh, instant death. Interesting. Well, at least we have a handful of rings to the last fight. What is it? Uh, thingamajig? Uh, I... I Probably it's gonna do something else. What the hell is that? Ah! I got uh, I see what they're going for here. Not sure how I'm gonna deal with this though. Because I'm not sure how the hell I'm gonna dodge this. And I need to be able to dodge it. Well, it has to be dodgeable, otherwise it's pretty much impossible to kill, so we need to I don't know, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to... Uh, with the shield going all over it, I think it's pretty much impossible to hit it. Oh, okay, so just... Uh, Well-timed jump, I guess that's it. Yeah, it's uh, 
I'm not sure what the things surrounding it are, but you have to jump at a time where... When the ring of things moving around it at the rear is at the low position, then you can definitely jump over it. If it's at the high position, no. I wonder if screw that actually be used to attack it. Right. And so, so it's a it's a retarded thing to try to let it come all the way down. It's all about time. You need to keep it up there, I think that's the best thing you can do. But what's the correct time of attack? Not the end though. So, what's after this? Sky Chase. Oh shit. Where the hell did we get the airplane anyway? if you get super snake here this moves at a steady pace there's a uh, any benefit directly in uh, going to super snake yeah that, that's sort of another thing now something yeah that's pretty bad zero ring Zone. Milking the zones a little bit now. Just figure some amount of rings though. Might give us super snake mode very quickly. Or are they getting into a boss fight? Right, machine gun chickens. Classic enemy. Going the correct direction. Right. I was a bit worried about that. So 
again, this is a place where I'm not sure Supersonic is a uh, advantage to me. I have a huge amount of difficulty controlling it accurately. And this like like precision movement is here. Alright, the moment I jump, I'll... I need, I think I need to grab that ball. Right. This is the worst possible time to have this person crap. <sighs> so it's not just a bone, a uh, benefit to you. I suppose that's a. Uh, in that sense, it's a nice thing, but at the same time, this is a goddamn platformer, so making the platforming drastically harder suddenly isn't exactly a positive thing in my book. I, I think this is a. Uh, this is an idea that could. Be, could work well, but not with this implementation. It's either totally overpowered or it's a huge pain to ass. I'm not sure where the hell am I even supposed to go. And now I'm back where I was already. <sighs> this one. <sighs> Guessing we need to go here, but uh, why? Because why would you even... Or do I need to just go higher? What do you want me to do here? Ooh, looks like a place to go. Higher the better, I guess. Why can't you take that? Yeah, this this just sort of breaks these levels. And I don't mean the invulnerability. The a lot of the jumps and things like that are designed for a certain speed to function properly. This just this is too much. Nothing works as it's supposed to. I'm back here. <sighs> oh shit. Can I go higher? I don't want to go down, I want to go higher. This could have been tough. I need to dodge the platforms while a laser is shooting at you. But I'm not even sure if that's actually accurate.
can't do anything. And Tails has a rocket booster aircraft for some reason. have a space battle with that it? Well I do have a shield so maybe that allows me to breathe in space or something. Death egg zone, yeah that I'm not sure if that's a uh, impressive or ridiculous name for the zone. No rings on the well, these patterns are fairly easy to see. I guess the the troublesome part here is that, yeah, you're going to die if they take a smoke at you. Apparently, if you hit it at the wrong part, you are dead too. <sighs> so, more or less, it seems like it's uh, take e he follows a pattern, and you're supposed to take easy hits. So learn the pattern or stay at the far edge so you have time to react to things. Definitely nothing surprising, so it's pattern, 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 pattern. Not sure how to deal with that one though. Probably let it jump all over you. Why not? There might be a way to get a few extra hits here and there. I think that's the best option. Try to get as many hits as possible so you risk. You have red list of our risk things going south on you. At the same time, I suppose the risk of screwing things up. Increase it if you try to do rapid successful strikes on something. Now would have come the jump, which never arrived because he will be attacked at every opportunity.
proper boss fight. Okay, big robot, but what is it gonna do? Attack mode of some sort. Attack it now. Sort of can, but uh It's uh yeah, it's uh it's weird. Because you it's very precise in the time when you can attack it, I guess. Oh no. It doesn't kill you if it walks on top of you. Right. So yeah. Can we go behind it? No, at least not anymore. <laughs> oh fuck, I'm trying to figure out where are the safe locations to actually attack it. Every time the hands switch position, you have an opening for it. Uh... Slightly more complex pattern. And it seems like it might not even be a pattern, it's uh, attacking where I am. So yeah, if I stay at the ground, it will attack the ground, if I jump, it will shot at the higher. Hmm. Exactly, are you supposed to dodge that? Seems like a fairly simple attack, although so I don't think it's going to be complex. Oh, for fuck's sake. I wasn't trying to stay still there. And attack. I feel like you're wasting an opportunity if you just weigh and dodge the arms in a single manner. Right. It'll take forever to kill it if you just dodge. You have to use it as an opportunity to attack it again. Do we even need the aircraft? No. And this is actually... I feel this game is probably fairly good. Uh, because the, if it's a little bit on the easy side when using save states, it's pro the difficulty level is probably fairly well exactly in the sweet spot. 
because it should be a little bit easy. And it really has only two difficult spots. There have been a couple of last Chaos Emerald sections. And it's fairly easy to reach another attempt. You have a limited amount of those attempts, but uh, reaching it isn't actually hard as long as you don't transform into uh, Supersonic, which wastes the ring rings. But that's that's a deep matter. Um, the other is maybe the last boss fights, and the robot Sonic follows a pattern, doesn't do anything even remotely out of it, so. Yeah, you might fail at it a couple of times, but then you know what it's going to do, so it's not much of a much much of a problem. Uh, the big robotic robotic robot might be a different issue because I feel you don't want to extend the fights. That's where you can make a mistake. You can either just Try to dodge or every attack and get an attack here and there, but it'll take forever to kill it. Alternatively, you can get three to four attacks almost every time it attacks with those arms, rocket arms. So trying to trying to keep dodging his attacks instead of aggressively going after him at every opportunity is probably good. That could make it a difficult fight. Uh, but I don't know. But the reason why I, what I don't think the save states will make much of a difference is because you, you're not gonna have any wings there anyway. So what the save states aid in the final fight is that you you learn the bad pattern much more faster. Because you don't have to replay it. But even if you do, you're not going to end up there with a li single life or two. You're going to have closer to a dozen lives, probably, if you've taken any kind of care. So, y you have enough opportunities to easily learn at least a robot uh, Sonic section for the per from the first try, and uh, another dozen lives are very definitely enough to take down the bigger robot, robot too. Because if you don't have the luxury of save states before that, you are a much better player at that stage than I was, for example. So it, it just doesn't compare. Otherwise, I think this is probably better than the first Sonic game, but I'm, I'm not, I don't particularly care for these. There's nothing particularly wrong about them. It's just that. They're a very typical platformer where the thing uh, pretty much is that you have a speed that you can go, massive speed that you can go through these levels. Problem is, you can't effectively play the game when you're going through these massive amount of speed. They're, they're unplayable. You either memorize them and know what to expect, what to do here and there, or they'll basically lead where they're gonna lead. They're, they're not all that exciting things to play, so, so at least, well at least not for me, I, I don't see the attraction there, I don't, because you really have up, down, left and right and jump, and with the fast moving section even that little is taken away from me, so, I, I don't know, I, I just, I can't get all that much out of these type of games anymore. There, ha there would have to be something else. These are minor distractions here and there for a few hours, which, for which they are fine. I, I think they're fine games for that. But there's no reason to really go back for them, and there's nothing really to try differently. It, it's they pretty much have the are you gonna get the chaos emeralds or not? And if you get them, well, congrats, that's that's pretty much the game. I suppose you could try to hunt down some secrets, but uh, it, it would be a shield, invulnerability, extra rings. 
it, it doesn't matter. If you have enough skill to end the game one way or another, that's that's it. Everything extra the game offers out of that is sort of worthless to me. So, I don't know. Still a solid platform, because I, I it's hard for me to figure out things to complain about this, as opposed to how Super Sonic is handled is uh, problematic. Because it's it changes how the character behaves in such a drastic manner that it's intolerable. So, yeah. Still uh, fairly solid, uh, everything plays well and all that. So, there's nothing really to massively complain about. Just that it's not a game that you could play for the for a huge amount of time, which isn't a much of a criticism for a game older game like this. <laughs> 